I'm Dan Skavronsky. I'm Senior Vice President for Clinical and Product Development at Eli Lilly & Company. I'm a neuroscientist and a neuropathologist. Alzheimer's disease is one of the largest unmet medical needs we face. As populations around the world continue to age, the prevalence of Alzheimer's disease is increasing dramatically. It's becoming a public health crisis. It has the potential to bankrupt healthcare systems on its own. And it's also a personal healthcare crisis for people who suffer from this disease. It is a fatal disease. It robs them both of their future and of their past, of course. Lilly's been committed to working in Alzheimer's disease for nearly the last 30 years, and our work continues today. We see Alzheimer's disease as such an important area where we can help patients because the science is breaking. We have a better understanding of how Alzheimer's disease works, what causes the disease in patients than we've ever had before. And we think that molecular understanding of Alzheimer's gives us an opportunity to develop medicines that can have a meaningful impact for patients. At our research center in Earlwood, neuroscientists work to try and understand how molecular abnormalities cause Alzheimer's disease. And in particular here, we're focused on tau. Tau is the protein that aggregates to form tangles, one of the two key pathologies in Alzheimer's disease. And we know that tau in the brain is a marker for neurodegeneration. The more tau patients have, the more symptomatic they are. And the parts of the brain that have the tau pathology are the very parts of the brain that show particular dysfunction in those patients. So we think that by targeting tau as a, as a drug target, if we can stop the spread of tau across the brain in Alzheimer's disease, that could be a very important way of treating Alzheimer's disease. That's one of our major focus areas here at Earlwood. The other is that we work on neuroinflammation. So we understand that there's inflammatory processes in the brain in Alzheimer's disease that are related to the pathophysiology of the disease. And we're looking to understand how the immune system works in Alzheimer's disease and how we can modulate that uh, to treat the disease. So we still today don't have disease-modifying drugs for Alzheimer's disease. Of course, that's a huge disappointment. On the other hand, there's been tremendous progress in our understanding of the disease and tremendous progress in our understanding of how to develop new treatments for the disease. A lot of that has been built on advances in biomarkers. So for example, we can now image amyloid plaque, one of the key pathologies of Alzheimer's in patients, that helps us figure out who we should treat. People who have plaques uh, are likely to be the ones most responsive to anti-amyloid therapies, for example. We can also now image for the first time tangles, the tau pathology in Alzheimer's patients. We can watch the tangles spread across the brain in individual patients. I think that's a useful biomarker. So as we test drugs in patients, we can see whether or not they can actually slow the spread of that tau pathology. Uh, across the brain. Perhaps someday that could be a surrogate marker for testing drugs for Alzheimer's disease. The research goes on. I hope that over the next 50 years we'll continue to refine our ways of detecting the disease in its earliest stages. That's largely going to be using biomarkers because we need to detect Alzheimer's before patients have even the very first symptoms of dementia. And then we're going to combine that detection with targeted therapeutics, whether it's towards amyloid or tau or neuroinflammation or most likely combinations of all three, and treat patients even before they have symptoms. And our hope, our vision, is that through early detection and early intervention, we can actually prevent Alzheimer's disease. We can certainly accomplish this within the next 50 years. So Eli Lilly and company and our Earlwood site in particular, one thing that makes us special is our long-term commitment to working in this disease. Uh, we've been at this for nearly 30 years. Despite the fact that it's such a challenging area, we, we don't give up. We'll still be working on this until we've made Alzheimer's preventable. Another thing that makes us, I think, a very important contributor 
in the fight against Alzheimer's disease is our focus on better understanding the key mechanisms of the disease. So our overriding goal is not just to develop drugs to treat the symptoms of Alzheimer's, but actually treat the causes of Alzheimer's and thereby prevent the disease.